Hey folks, here at OS Reviews. You're watching our video review of the Coolstream Duo. This is a Bluetooth receiver device, which essentially connects to a 30-pin dock connector-enabled uh, speaker that's originally designed for an iPhone, an iPod, or you know, an iPad. And after connecting to this, allows the uh, regular wired speaker itself to be connected into a Bluetooth uh, speaker. And as such, you can now connect any device, any tablet running on Android, um, on Windows Phone, any platform to be able to use the speakers in a wireless manner. So it's quite useful if you have a really good pair of speakers, um, but again, the 30 pin dock connector is kind of for the last generation model of iPhones and iPod touches, and you no longer find yourself using them, you can now transform them into Bluetooth speakers so that your newer Android phone, perhaps the Samsung Galaxy device, can take advantage of the speaker and now use it. So how this thing functions is it's quite simple. We have a rechargeable lithium iron battery inside of the Coolstream Duo itself, uh, which is quite useful so that it doesn't have to be you know, plugged in all the time. Uh, for example, we can also use this in the car, and it's quite simple by using, it comes included with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so we connect it on one end to the device and the other end into our car's audio system, and it works the same way. It uh, turns your car's audio system into a Bluetooth audio system, so you can connect any phone, any tablet uh, into your car's stereo system, so you can listen to music from your device wirelessly, so it's quite nice. The audio quality is also retained, so it's a very good uh, audio quality that, that comes out, which we'll see in a second. So, for example, we have this device. It's pretty well constructed, comes in colors of black and white, and it retails for about $30 on Amazon.com, which is a pretty good price to pay, again, for kind of refreshing your older speakers and making them valuable again. These will virtually work with any um, previous generation 30-pin dock connector-enabled uh, iPod speakers, uh, from Altic Lansing to iHome speakers, to the generic, to the more expensive, um, and all of them mostly work. So you have a complete list that you can find from the company's website at coolstream.com. So pretty easy to use. So all we need to do with this device is simply plug it in into the device, the device's speaker, and essentially that's it. Uh, once, the, once the actual speaker itself is turned on, we'll see there is a LED indicator light on the very top of the product that's flashing, and this red and blue shows that uh, the product is currently charging its battery, um, but also the fact that it's being turned on, so we know that the product is now fully functioning. The packaging is pretty small, contains with just the instruction manual printed in full color, and the device itself. Setting device up is also very, very simple. Uh, the range is kind of is about limited to about 20 feet, which is as simple as taking your device, whether Android, whether it's a new iPhone that uses a lightning pin adapter, whether it's a Windows phone, whatever it is, simply go into settings, turning on Bluetooth, and then we can go into the more specific settings and pair it with the uh, Coolstream Duo, which is pretty easy, and it connects right away within a few seconds, and it's going to show you it's connected to the media audio. Um, and then it's about, uh, again, it, the range is pretty good as well, about uh, t 15 to 20 feet, so it's going to be more than adequate for you to walk around the room and still listen to the music. You can control the volume in multiple ways. You can use the volume controls on your speaker directly. You can use it, if you have a remote, you can use your remote. You can also use your device's control on the physical sides, or if you're using YouTube, you can also use the one built into YouTube also control the settings um, in terms of how loud the music is, which works pretty well. So we're going to play back this song um, on, on YouTube, just to give you a sense of the speaker's quality. So this is just some, some um, uncopyrighted music, just for our testing purposes. And so let's turn on the volume. We can see that it can get pretty loud. Again, it depends on the quality of the of your device itself originally, the speakers of your device originally. But if they are good uh, speakers originally, the sound quality should be pretty good, as you can hear. And you can also pause the music. And so it's quite easy to control, and overall it's a very good experience. Sound quality is basically retained, so if your original speaker, like we have here, the Altic Lensing, produces very impressive sounds from the basses to clarity to creating a three-dimensional um, amplified sound compared to the very tinny sound on our device itself, it definitely makes the audio uh, quality improved. And it's great for parties as well, to show off to friends to different environments. Now we're going to play back the same kind of part of the song, except we're going to use our phone. So you can hear how it's a lot tinnier, the sound quality is not as rich, it's not as full um, as plugging into a pair of speakers. So overall, it definitely works as advertised. So all in all, if you are looking for an inexpensive kind of 
a Bluetooth receiver to plug into an older generation um, iPod speaker system. I think that the Coolstream Duo is a great option to go with because it's inexpensive, it works as advertised, it creates a great audio experience, it's, po it's pocketable, has a rechargeable battery, comes in multiple colors, um, and basically just works as you might expect it to. Just plug and play and you're ready to go. So overall, we would definitely recommend this product. You can check out our full written review on the Coolstream Duo down in the description box below, but this has been our video review. Thanks for watching. Here at OS Reviews, this has been the Coolstream Duo Bluetooth receiver for the iPod 30-pin dock connector-enabled speakers.